Sometimes in moments like this, I don't know what to post, what I should or what I shouldn't. You know, trying to be not just a Christian, but a disciple, remembering the kingdom of God in times like these, times where we're being persecuted and chased down, times where you just want to doubt and you want to throw your hands up and give up, times when you're afraid to even walk outside, when fear wants to overtake you. You know, this is why we have to be guarded guarded with the word of God the spirit of God you have to have it deep inside of you so even when you don't understand times like this you are able to walk out with no fear knowing that even if something does happen we'll be with Christ our Lord and God our Father that you can be brave you can be bold you can live still this sucks it really sucks right now and I mourn for the family you know um, and not just also not not just him all the young and old African American African American males females Hispanics it seems it's a it seems you know to be a very ethnic prejudice out there right now black lives matter all lives matter yes but if we can take a moment and just think what would Martin Luther King do what would Jesus Christ do if he was walking the earth right now right now if he was walking this earth and he had to go and tell the sermon and had to go and face a family that just dealt with something like this what would he say Lord God I ask you to cover my brothers and sisters I ask you that your justice and your righteousness prevail even in these moments when we don't understand, Lord God, we know that we can trust in you. We accept you as our personal Savior, Jesus. We repent for all of our sins. Lord God, we submit our lives to you. We ask you to come into our hearts and change us. We ask you, Lord, to be Lord over our lives, over every decision that we make. Help us to trust you more than we trust ourselves, more than we trust the government, more than we trust the police officers, more than we trust our spouses and our own family members, Lord. Help us, Jesus, to depend on you. Just like people were persecuted all throughout the Bible. I mean, the Bible was the beginning. So, obviously, the persecution is going to go through the end. It's just gotten worse. And I ask you, Lord, guide our hearts, put forgiveness in our hearts, help us to think on things that are good, that are lovely, that are pure, that are full of hope, things that are joyful, that your fruits of the Spirit grow and sprout through us as your words. It's the seed that is planted in us daily, morning, noon, and night. Jesus, we love you. You know we can trust and depend on you, Lord God. Jesus, have your way, Lord God. Have your way, Lord. Touch each and every mother, wife, brother, sister, aunt, auntie, uncle, whether they're African American or mixed family, anyone that had to go through and literally bury someone of their own from a hate crime, a racist incident, or something that seemed to be of the sorts. I pray, Lord, that the gun violence in the communities, on the streets, 
in the nation, in the world, subside and go down. Jesus, we know that these are the end times. We know these are end times, Lord. And it's things like this that's going to continue to happen before you return. We ask you, Jesus, to continue to give us hope and let our faith in you just continue to grow from a mustard seed to the seed of a plum and any other bigger seeds than that. We know you love us and you accept us, Jesus. In your holy name I pray. Amen. Be encouraged, people. Be encouraged. Don't doubt God. Put all your trust in Jesus Christ. He suffered the worst for us. So that when we go through things here on this earth, he understands, he, he knows our pain. It sucks, it does. But I'm praying for you all. Each and every person who listens to this video, who shares this video. Don't have hatred in your hearts, no matter what. No matter what. Don't, don't let it ignite hatred in you. Pass on peace and love to your children. Teach them now. Love no matter what. 